Hi guys, Coach Chad again. So I just finished showing you the triangle setup, and I showed you the motion that we're going to run out of that offensive setup. And uh, you might remember that I also said that the play we run uh, is going to be dependent upon uh, who the point guard originally passes the ball to. So I'm going to use my clipboard again, and I'm just going to remind you that if the ball gets swung this way, it's going to get swung again, and that starts our motion. Now let's look at something different. When this player swings the ball out to number three, here's what's going to happen. Five's going to pop up and set a screen for him. One's going to cut with him shoulder to shoulder, looking for a pass right there so that he can go in and make a layup. Okay? That's simple. That's part one. Now, the second part is, as soon as that screen is set by number five, number five is then going to pop over and set a screen for three. Okay? So one's going to cut and continue through. And if he doesn't get a pass, three's going to use this screen, and he's going to go this way, loop around using that screen, heading towards the basket, and hopefully a layup. Okay? Now what number five is going to do, remember five has moved here and just set a screen, and three went around him. As soon as three turns that corner, five now is going to turn in this way. Okay? So now what has happened is three is running around with the ball, five has spun in, and three is either going to be able to make a shot there, or this is what's called a uh, uh, pick and roll. Excuse me. The pick is when this guy sets a screen. The roll is when he rolls off of it. These two will be moving at about the same time with hopefully a little distance apart. If he's free, he's going to make a layup. If he's not, he's going to bounce past it to this guy who's going to make a layup. Make sense?